Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we'll practice one specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of the video, if you need more practice, more help, I have some more in-depth video lessons to help make math your jam too. The focus this week is, drum roll, multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time and let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and solve this one to the best of your ability. And then come on back and let's check your work. Welcome back, fifth grade. Let's go ahead and go over this one. It says, which compares the products? I know the products are the total when we multiply the products of five and four tenths times one hundredth and five and four tenths times ten correctly, which compares the products of these two correctly. All right, before I even get going with the answer choices here, I'm gonna take a little look. I'm seeing it has to do with place value about being um, greater than or less than and moving through the different place values. That's what we're looking for. But I'm gonna go ahead and solve each of these products out first. That way I can correctly compare them, okay? So here, let's take five and four tenths times one hundredth. I'll make that this one. And then on this side, we'll compare five and four tenths times 10. And we'll call that yellow. All right, let's do it. So five and four tenths times 100. Here, what that means is if I'm putting it into a quick little place value chart, this is the ones place, which is where my five is. And the four is right here. Which place is that four in? The tenths place. Okay, then next we have the hundredths and the thousandths. And it does keep going on, but we in fifth grade usually stop right there. Okay, because I'm multiplying it by one hundredth, I need to shift each place two places to the right, making them move smaller. So when, for instance, when I take this five, I'm gonna go to the tenths, to the hundredths, and this is where the five is landing. Same thing with the four. One, two, and it's landing in the thousandths place. So now I've got a zero in the tenths place, and here's where my decimal is, okay? So to rewrite that number, it looks like this. Okay, 54. Thousands. When I multiply five and four tenths times one hundredth, we're shifting it two places over to the right. Each digit gets shifted two places to the right, making it a smaller value of fifty-four thousandths. All right. On the other side, we have five and four tenths times ten, because ten is a value greater than one. It's going to create a greater product than five and four tenths. And if you're like, what do you mean? This is what I mean. So here in the ones place, we have the digit five again. And then we also have the four in the tenths place. I know we're gonna be going this way because it's going to be getting bigger. This is the tens place and hundreds place. And I'll put the, the one thousands place just in case. Five and four tenths is being multiplied by 10. So I'm shifting each digit one place to the left, making it one place bigger. So now the five is no longer in the ones place, it's in the tens place. The four is no longer in the tens place, it's in the ones place. And here's where my decimal would be. So this is actually 54. So here's our new products. Okay, now we need to compare those, comparing these two products. So how can we do that? I think by lining them up. So I'm gonna create a new little color and put it inside this red box right here. We're going to line up these values right here. So to do that, I'm going to create a place value chart. Um, and I know I go from the tens, ones, 
decimal point, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. Let's put these two digits in those places. Okay, so for the first one over here, the green product that we came up with would be zero decimal zero five four. That's not how we read it though. We read it as 54 thousandths. And then this product right here was 54. And that can go right here, five in the tens place, four in the ones place. So now all we have to do is see how many times smaller and bigger we're going. So here, now that I've got it lined up, I'll throw some zeros in here too, just so it looks a little bit cleaner. Okay, I know I've got a lot going on here. All it is is just place value, place value jumping. That's all we're doing here. So A, if I'm looking, do you notice here? It says five and four tenths times one hundredth, right? That's our green side. That's this one. Okay. And then over here, we have these. Okay, which is all the yellow. So what we're doing is we're taking a look at the green five and four tenths times one hundredth and saying how many times less than or greater than is it. So as you can see, the green one, 54 thousandths, is that less than or greater than 54? It's less than, right? So here, where it says that this one, the product of five and four tenths times 100 is 100 times less. See how it says 100 times less? We'll see how many times less in a second, but less works out. Here it says 100 times greater. 54 thousandths is not 100 times greater, so we can eliminate that one. Do that over here. 1,000 times less. Well, we're, all we're looking for right now is just less, so we're gonna keep A, we're gonna keep C, and D says 1,000 times greater, and that is not what we want. We want one that is less. So we've eliminated two just by doing that. Now let's go ahead and see how many times less 54,000 says to do that. Going from the five to this five, it would be 10 times less, 100 times less, 1,000 times less. Going from this digit five to this digit five is three jumps. Three jumps would be 10 times less, 100 times less, 1,000 times less less. Okay, so that means what is the correct answer here? Yeah, because we did three hops, it would be 1,000 times less, not 100 times less. So C is actually the correct answer. Let's go ahead and mark that one. There we go. Make sure you do all the work there. Now I know that we took quite a journey. First, we needed to figure out the products of each of the separate little expressions that we had. And then we had to compare them and see how many times less than or greater than they were. And then we could go through each answer choice and make sure. So I know that was a lot. But the great part about these videos is that they are videos that you can definitely go back rewind and re-listen to something if you're not quite sure. This was a lot of work. We just got to take it one step at a time. All right. So pause the video, take down any notes that you still need to go back and rewind if you need to make sure that something is clear and ask, definitely ask questions if you're still not sure. Okay. And when you're ready, let's close out this video for today. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you have to put in the practice. You have to be intentional about putting in the effort to throw down your best. I believe in you and I will see you next week, world changers. Bye.